Are you a worker in the food branch, beauty centers, barber shops, health club personnel? This is for you. I know most of you would want to do such kind of jobs. But did you know the extra requirement that is needed of you in that department? Tune into this video as we try to see what do you need in that department? What extra requirement do you need apart from the other requirements for you to work in that department? Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. And if it's your first time to come across this channel, consider subscribing. Press the notification bell. It will be the first to know when I upload it. For the returning subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for watching videos for this channel. I appreciate it. Remember, it's the only way we can get to share the information. Get to develop ourselves in one more way. In today's video, we are going to talk about the different categories of people or the different category of jobs that require an extra an extra requirement or that require an extra document for you to work in that uh, sector. By the way, we are talking about the medical requirements, the medical fitness examinations. Yes, now we are looking at a point where you've passed the medical test requirements. This is a time for you to get what we call a residence permit. Once you get, once you pass the medical test or the medical examination fitness requirement, you will be directed to go to what you call the fingerprints department. They will take your fingerprints. Just in a few days, they will have to issue with what you call a cutter ID. That's what you call the residence permit that you suppose that shows that you really eligible to live in the country. That is exactly what we're talking about. But again. Do you know that there is an extra requirement or an extra document that is required for people working in these sectors? Yes or no? In this video, let us try to look at what are the requirements. Remember, what does the government or what does the state say? Issuing a medical certificate for the food workers, for the barber shops, employees in the barber shops, employees in the health club sector, and employees that are working in what you call the food uh, food or hospitality department in one way or the other especially those that are dealing with food directly those working as the chefs those working as uh, bakers there is an extra certificate that you're supposed to have did you know that that is an ex that 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 is part of the requirement by the state of Qatar? This is exactly that we want to see, and this is exactly what we are talking about. The department receives, this is what it, it says, the department receives a certificate applications. Then it carries out procedures for issuing a healthy certificate in accordance with the department rules and without any violation of regulations and laws. Workers in the food branch staff in the barber shops, the beauty centers, and the health club personnel may benefit from the service provided by the administrative and the allied service department. So for workers in that department, you need an extra medical certificate because it all concerns with the hygiene and the close contacts with the people. So you need, they need to find out, they need to verify that you are safe enough to deal in that department and also to deal with the people in that department. What are the requirements for you to get what you call a medical certificate for workers in the food sector, for workers in the beauty centers, for workers in the barber shops, and those that are working in the health sector? I know this might be very good information for those people that are coming in and they would like to work in 
this sector. Not even only that, it may also be a very good information for people that are planning to change jobs to this sector. Remember, the hospitality is now booming because of the FIFA World Cup. It's booming that there are a lot of opportunities. You might want to change into that profession that you think it is your area of speciality. This is what you're supposed to find. Let us try to look at what are the requirements that you need to have for you to get what you call a, a medical certificate for that department or for those departments. One, you should have a print out of the application form that is obtain a healthy certificate for food workers. There is an application form that you need to fill. Number two requirement and number two, attach two recent personal photos that are not more than six months. You should attach two passport photos which should not be more than six months. Requirement number three, a copy of the entry visa plus the original passport of that applicant. A copy of the original visa and passport, original passport for the first applicant. Remember, I'm talking about people who are new in this that department that would want to join that department dealing with food, dealing closely with people, dealing with health, that you need to have this certificate. Number four, a copy of what you call a valid resident permit. Remember, the first medicals you take as you come in for your work job or your area of employment, wherever you are recruited from, once you pass what you call the medical fitness examination, they'll check whatever they have to check. You go for printouts, for fingerprints. Once the fingerprints are done and you verify with no criminal record, then probably they'll issue what you call a residence permit or resident cutter ID. Remember, I told you that residence permit or the cutter ID is quite very important wherever you have to go. It is that document that will enable or will certify that you are eligible to work in this country. Requirement number four, a copy of the establishment registration card. This copy normally comes from your employer. It is normally provided by your employer because you are going to work for that company. You are going to do the job for that company. So they normally have what you call an establishment registration certificate that, end, that allows them to, to actually carry out that work. Then another one is the previous healthy certificate in cases of renewal, replacement of the applicant or change of profession. For you who, who is renewing, if you are renewing your healthy certificate, you will be required to present the previous expired certificate. And for this one who is replacing a new change, a new or change of profession, you will also be required to present or you will be required to present that healthy certificate. Let's say for example, you are dealing in the barber shop as an employee for the barber shop but now you want to go to what you call a food or you want to change into what you call a chef in a given restaurant or a given hotel you probably as part of the requirement you'll be you'll be required of you to present the former certificate that you got or that you've been using in the other Department. Then another one that is required of you is what we call a vaccination card. It is quite very important. These are small minor things that we may underestimate, but they are part of the requirements of this particular kind of jobs that we want to do. And these jobs that we think are part of our profession or our career in one way or the other. So you should have a vaccination card. And right now, Another requirement is what you call the vaccination COVID certificate that should provide it 
because you need to know they need to verify that you are vaccinated some of us are coming or some of you are coming from your country not vaccinated within here within here you have all the records but you may be coming from from your country they need to track out those records and know which kind of person they are dealing with remember remember this is not the, the ministry also say that companies must register their employees through what we call a Ministry of Public Health website. This in case you are being recruited under a company to work for a different company, then you, it is, will be a mandatory or it will be your employer to register you to go for those medicals at time. And also, what, what something that is required is what we call the original registration receipt must be presented when receiving what we call a health certificate at time. Remember, the fees or the amount of money you are supposed to pay to get a medical certificate for people working in this department, the departments we talked about, the food workers, we talked about the beauty centers, we talked about the health clubs, then we also talked about employees working the barber shops. The fee that you're supposed to, to pay or your company is supposed to pay for that certificate is equivalent of 20 kata reals. Remember, 20 kata reals is an equivalent of 6 US dollars. Hope the information shared for the person who asked such kind of question or a person who dropped this question in the comment section. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thank you so much for tuning back to this channel. Remember to subscribe and remember to press the notification because it's the only way you will be updated when I upload a new video. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video as we try to explore other opportunities and we try to share information or advices in any way. See you again. It's Max from the Max Creation.